Welcome, welcome, welcome to Sleep Sense, where I share with you uncommon wisdom tips to help you succeed in your finances, career, business, and relationships. My name is Talent Man. You can officially call me Maxwell Mensa. Today, I'm sharing with you seven reasons why you are not getting promotion at work. Seven reasons why you are not getting promotion at work. You really want to get promotion, but you're not getting. Anytime it's time for promotion, you are skipped over. And then if you're getting promoted, and you're not getting promoted. These are the seven reasons why you're not getting promotion at work. But before I get into it, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. If you've watched any of my videos before and you have still not subscribed yet, kindly subscribe now because there's a lot of good content on my channel. Just, just go to my videos and you'll see, you'll see all the amazing content I have been posting on my channel. Also, don't forget, like this video, leave a comment for me. Whatever comments you have, leave a comment for me. And share my videos for more people to come and learn on my channel so let's get into it seven reasons why you are not getting promotion at work even though sometimes you think you qualify these are the seven reasons why you're not getting promotion the first is because you don't bring any extra value to the table you don't bring any extra value to the table so you've been employed to fill a particular position at the office and that is basically all you do and even that you don't even do anything extra you just do normal work you give out normal uh, uh, results then you don't bring any extra, table, any extra value to the table because if you're not there, somebody else can do the particular job you are doing. So what is the extra thing you bring to the table? So if you want to get promotion and you don't bring any extra value to the table, then you definitely, you definitely not qualify for any promotion because anytime there's promotion or your boss wants to promote someone, they're looking for people who beyond the, uh, playing the particular role they have been assigned are able to also bring extra value to the table. So if you don't bring any, any extra value, then you will definitely not be uh, given the promotion when it comes up. Next, when you lack the skills for higher position, when you lack the skill for higher position, you know, if you want to go higher on a corporate ladder, you will need to have the skills that is needed to uh, perform on a higher level because every higher level comes with higher challenges. And if you are someone who doesn't like challenge, who doesn't possess the, 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 the skill and the uh, required expertise to perform at a particular level, your boss will never give you the promotion even though you may be the longest serving staff in a particular company. He, he, he will promote you because if he promotes you, you don't even have the skills needed to, uh, to function in that role. So for example, you want to be made a particular manager in a particular department or division, but you don't even know how to use Excel. And the, the manager they, are needed, they, they need for that particular uh, department is someone who must know how to use Excel, who must know how to use Microsoft Word, who must know how to use PowerPoint, who must be able to speak in public, and you don't have any of these skills, then definitely you will not be considered for promotion because when you are promoted, you don't even have the skills required to function in that particular role. So that could be the reason why you are not getting promotion. So if you are not getting promotion and you think you want to get a promotion, find out the skills that are needed in that particular role you want to apply for, you want to be promoted into, and build or develop those skills for yourself so that you can, be, become, so that you can become better positioned to be considered for promotion in that particular field or area. Next, when you don't take feedback calmly, when you don't take feedback calmly, so you are someone who, anytime your boss tries to give you feedback, you 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 put on a, 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 a defensive uh, mechanism where you are defending everything and you are justifying everything. You are wrong, and your boss is giving you feedback and trying to correct you, but you are still justifying why you did what you did. You are not ready to accept that yes, yes, I, I, I am wrong, and that boss, I'm sorry, and I will learn from it, and then going forward, I'll do better. But you are trying to justify why you did this, and you are trying to give all the reasons why that thing couldn't work. Meanwhile, you couldn't function. So if you're someone who doesn't take feedback calmly, it means that you're someone who, who can perform in a managerial role. If there's a promotion and you're being put there, you, you can't function because anytime you are being given feedback, you take it that the person doesn't like you or the person hates you for something. Next, if you lack professionalism, you will not be promoted at the office or at the workplace. If you lack professionalism. So per the work you are doing, there's a, a certain level of professionalism that is needed. There's a certain level, I mean, you, you need to be professional to a particular level. I mean, your boss needs to see you as someone who, who knows what he's about. You should be someone who knows what you're about. You, you know, um, at least your appearance alone shows that you, you, you are serious about your job, the way you talk, the way you communicate, the way you carry out yourself, the way you execute your, 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 your current job shows that you're professional, you know what you're about. If you, do, if you don't show any professionalism in your job, yet you want to be promoted, why do you want to be promoted? To go to a higher level, and embarrass yourself or embarrass the company or bring the company down. No. No one wants to uh, promote someone who goes to a higher level, who cannot be professional in their dealings. 
So learn to be professional if you want to look for promotion. Next, if you don't take any initiative at the office, you don't take any initiative. All you do is to complain. All you do is to complain. And this thing is not working. And this thing hasn't worked. And this thing has never worked. And this office they say. And this company they that. And this company we are, we are never good in this. We are never good in customer service. We are never good in marketing. We don't do blah blah. And all you know how to do is to complain about everything at the office. And yet you never take any initiative to introduce anything new or anything that can help to salvage the, the things you are complaining about. Yet all you do is to complain, to complain, to complain. And even when they need someone to do something, you will never volunteer to take the initiative and go forward and do what has to be done. You will definitely not be promoted because you only have the best complaints but never the best answers or the best solutions to the same complaints you are complaining about. So if you are someone who doesn't take the initiative and you are always complaining, no boss, no boss will, empl- will, will promote you. Even if you are sleeping with your boss, he, he or she will not promote you because beyond a sleeping with you, you don't know anything beyond complaining. Next, if you think like an employee and not as a manager or as an owner, you will never be promoted and promotion will keep skipping you all the time. And you'll be at the office, you'll be working there for five years, ten years, and people who come, ju- who, who, who come just uh, uh, within a year or two years will be promoted and you'll be at the same level. So, you see, There is a way employees think, and there is a way managers think, and there is a way owners of companies think. If you are someone who thinks as an employee, and that's all you think about, you you are someone. It it shows that you don't qualify to be a manager, or you don't qualify to be promoted to a higher level because your 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 thinking is about is that of um, an employee. You never think big beyond anything. Anything. All you think about is how to do my job and just my job, and I'm done. And even with my job, I don't go any extra more. I don't go any extra more to do anything extra. All I'm concerned about is let me just do the little that I have been, been given to do. Spend the rest of the time chatting with friends, being on phone, wasting time, spending two hours, three hours at uh, lunch, closing early, uh, coming to work late. That's the thinking of, a, of, of an employee. If that's how you're thinking, and that's how you're acting, then you don't qualify to be a manager and you'll never be promoted even when the opportunity can't come to you. Finally, if you are someone who expects automatic promotion that you haven't even earned, somehow you expect that automatically the next promotion should come to you. Who told you? You, you, you went to be automatic. Oh, but my, my boss knows that currently I'm the longest serving staff. So when there's a promotion, I, 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 or when there's, an, I, there, there, there's a slot for promotion, I should be promoted. For, for what reason? Why should you be promoted? How, do, do you think you've earned that promotion? Do you think you, you, you've contributed enough to the company's growth and development to end that promotion? If not, then forget it. You can be the longest serving staff. You, I mean, you, you could be someone who is even who has been in a company even longer than your own boss, <laughs> and yet you don't be promoted because you, 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 you haven't qualified for a particular promotion, and yet you think that automatically you, you deserve it because you are the longest serving staff in that department or in that company. You will never get that promotion. So these are the seven reasons why you are not getting promoted. So don't stop blaming other people. Sometimes it's your own fault. It's your own negligence that's preventing you from being promoted. So if you want to be promoted, do the opposite of these things. And the next promotion is likely to come to you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Street Sense with me, Talent Man. If you are yet to subscribe, kindly subscribe because there's a lot of quality content on my channel. Thank you so much and I will see you on the next episode.